What's up mga binuhat? For today's video is mamimitas kami ng mga bunga ng kakao at ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano ko pinoproseso ang mga buto nito para makagawa ng traditional Philippine chocolate o mas kilala dito sa tawag na tableya. Sa pagkuha ng bunga ng kakao, hindi dapat hinahatak. Gumamit ng proning gear at magtira ng stump. Dahil kung saan siya bubunga, doon ulit lalabas ang bunga ng kakao. Kapag kulay maroon or green pa yung mga pods, ibig sabihin nun, hilaw pa yung mga kakao. Pero kapag medyo lighter na siya at kulay dilaw na, yun, pwede na yung pitasin. Kailangan na natin buksan ang ating mga kakao pods para makuha natin ang mga buto nito. Fermentation is one of the most essential parts of flavor development. Cacao pulps contains a lot of sugar and it serves as food or fuel for the yeast and other microorganisms. During the fermentation, yeast and other microorganisms is naturally built up. From day 1 to day 2, this phase is called anaerobic phase which is lack of oxygen and during the process yeast consume the sugar and reproduce carbon dioxide ethanol and heat on the third day this phase is called aerobic phase wherein we introduce oxygen to incorporate oxygen mixing motion or turning motion is kailangan gawin microorganisms produce acetic acid this space also generates heat from 30 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius. The diffusion of ethanol and acetic acid breaks down the cell walls of the bean, which means my chemical reactions inside the bean, which lead to the development of cacao flavors and changing in color. On day 5 to 6, ipupull out na natin ang ating mga cacao beans sa fermentation area and proceed to the post-harvest process which is the drying. The second half of the post-harvest process is drying the cacao beans. Cacao drying is done after fermentation to reduce the moisture content from around 60% down to 7.5%. Drying lasts from 5 to 7 days. It depends upon the weather. Drying should take place slowly dahil meron pa ito mga chemical reactions na nagde-develop.
The cacao bed should be thicker because if the beans are dried too quickly, the cacao shells harden and chopping lot of off flavors and bitterness inside the cacao beans. Every two hours of the first day of drying, beans are turned or raked to ensure na pantay-pantay yung pagkakatuyo ng mga buto. Pagkatapos pinatuyo ng isang linggo ang mga buto ng kakao, isasangag muna natin ito sa katamtamang init ng apoy. Ang prinsipyo po ng pagsasangag is to loosen up yung mga balat at at the same time, madidesinfect kung mayroon mang contamination na nangyari during the fermentation and drying process. Ngayon, tatanggalin na natin yung mga balat ng mga nasangag nating buto ng mga kakao. Pagkatapos ng ilang pasada dito sa gilingan, kung napapansin nyo, nag-iiba na yung texture ng ating mga kakao nibs. Nagmistula na siyang parang paste. Dahil nagiling na natin ang mga buto ng kakao, pwede na natin tong ilagay sa molde. Ngayon, dahil ready na ang ating mga tsokolate, ilagay na natin siya dito sa aking chocolate jar. <music> 